Hey everybody, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to go over the satin layer style. This will be very, very simple and very quick, very short video. So we're going to go to our layer that we want to apply this to and right click and go to layer style. I'm going to shift this over so we can see. I'm going to go down to satin and make sure to check it on to activate it. As you can see, it has a really interesting smooth outline, kind of like a bevel, but not quite. The point of the satin layer style is to give it a satiny look, a very nice sheen, soft look, like you would see on actual satin fabric. I'm actually going to change the color here, like you can do with most of the layer styles. We're going to change it to, let's do this, this color here, it's like a nice purple. Actually no, we're going to change that, sorry, this one here. Something a little bit brighter that we can see. We can see already that it's changed the outline here. We can increase the opacity to make it completely opaque or we can make it more transparent. We can change the uh, blend mode. So if we did difference, we change it to green, exclusion. I think it might do something. Eh, a little. So we'll change it back to linear dodge. Sorry, I meant change it back to linear burn, not dodge. But you can change that and see how that interacts with the rest of your artwork. You can change the angle, so that is the direction of the lighting. So we can uh, click and rotate this um, little icon here. Right now it's not doing too much. We can change or use the presets of the two directional lighting, the two sources. And we can change the distance and the size. So this is where it really gets interesting. As you can see, I'm increasing the distance. It's kind of like you're zooming out in a way. So it's kind of like changing the distance between you and the, the pattern. And you have some really interesting lines around here. So obviously it doesn't look like satin. So if we increase the size, make that a little bigger, you can see it's starting to get a nice smooth sheen look. You can definitely see it around this bat right here. Not so much these two. This one looks really nice and soft. So it has a really interesting final look to it, kind of like that satin sheen. Now we can invert it. So maybe you want the white to be the majority of the color versus the pink. And you can add the anti-aliasing on as well. And that's pretty much it for the satin layer style. It's very simple, not too many options, not too many crazy options, but just enough to have fun with it and get some interesting uh, styles to your artwork or whatever you're doing. And that's it. If you guys have any questions about this layer style or anything else, let me know in the comments below. I will do the best to answer them. I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.